morning everyone Mark Mulligan here uh, we're gonna show you some great stuff we got this week I mean we had a great week with different things and uh, state sales and uh, thrift stores and so let's get to it and show you what we got um, you know to kind of get started you know I get this one of the things we got at a thrift store I mean a state sale was this um, movie or uh, music stand you know and of course um, I got that for a buck. Uh, it was kind of the end of the day. It happened to be the person that was putting on the estate sale was hers at one time, and she just wanted to get rid of it. And so got that. Uh, we'll be able to sell that for 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Another thing we got over here was the, um, the tube uh, golf club uh, transport system. You can use it to you know ship your golf clubs or even keep them in your car, kind of protected, uh, especially if you have a smaller bag and different things. Um, so that's a, that'll sell someplace on Craigslist. So we got it for a buck again at um, you know one of the thrift stores. A couple things we got that were kind of neat um, at a thrift store. We got a Playboy purse, pink, and it's full of all kinds of stuff. We got it for a buck. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll sell. I didn't look it up before I bought it, but it was, you know, a dollar day, so we ended up getting that. We also got a real nice suede um, purse. I mean, this purse is beautiful. Brand new. Never been used. Uh, it's called a, well, it's a St. John's Bay, which I think is Dayton's. So, uh, but brand new. And we uh, got it for two bucks. Put that on. So another neat thing we got was this guitar, electric guitar amplifier. It's a little one. It's called First Alert. And I actually have one myself that I use. I have an electric guitar that I play a little bit. And so um, this is going to be really nice for someone to have, just to kind of play, you know, not not get too loud, but and play in the home and. We paid a buck for that. We'll probably um, sell it for $25. Um, should be in that range. We also got this neat Magnavox transistor radio. I mean, this thing, I almost positive I had one just like this. And um, the two band FM AM. Uh, it's <laughs> very, very old. And it works. I put batteries in it and it works. And so we'll put that on Itsy and um, see how that goes with the vintage uh, sale on there. Another thing we got at a, um, an estate sale was a brand new box of parchment paper for a buck. Just beautiful. Um, you know, this is the kind of thing that you can make certificates off of or um, different kinds of um, oh, awards, menus, it just adds class to whatever kind of communicate you're putting together for someone. And for a buck, I always buy paper whenever I can because, you know, it's five bucks a ream uh, minimum at even Walmart, so it's something to think about. Another kind of fun thing we got were uh, these two birdhouses, brand new, never been used, two bucks each. And uh, we'll put those on um, Craigslist. We'll see what happens, uh, or probably eBay. 
and put you know 10 15 bucks on them and see if we can get them we'll sell them as a pair so make sure that happens the other thing we've been buying lately that are selling right away are these ipod um, stereos and this is actually a memorex ipod docking with alarm clock and remote control now we didn't get the remote control but it works just fine and i love to play my iPod and this of course can be used as an alarm clock in your house or outside. Put batteries, we have our pool and I just set it right next to the pool and that way I don't uh, put my stuff in and not have it too loud and, um, and enjoy my music. So this was a buck and that'll sell all day long for $10-$15 uh, which is kind of neat. Another thing we got which I love are these two salt and pepper, copper salt and pepper shavers. Very durable. I'm going to keep these. I'm going to put them out by my uh, uh, you know, grill and they'll be able to stand the heat. Not using some porcelain uh, little thing that'll break. These things are durable and will last a long time. But you could easily sell these for $25. Uh, they're very, very high end older, really made well. We got this Avon musket. And um, this, a lot of Avon people collect stuff like this. I actually enjoy going in and smelling the aroma. And this, of course, smells like my dad's old aqua velvet uh, shaving lotion, which brings back good memories. But some of these things you can sell, um, you know, some of the uh, Avon stuff is rare and it'll sell for 50 bucks. Some of it, you're lucky you can get $10 for it. We paid a buck for it, and so uh, I'm, I might keep that too. <laughs> I better give, better sell some stuff, if you, think, you know what I mean. So uh, another thing that we've got was this urn. I mean, it's probably a flower pot or whatever. But, or a candy dish, but I'll sell it as a golf trophy, first prize. Stainless steel, really nice. I sell these kinds of things all day long as trophies for $25 to $50. And so this thing is gonna be magnificent to give to somebody as a trophy for a prize. Tennis, golf, you name it, whatever it is, uh, your belly wick is. Um, we sold, or we bought, and we hit the mother load this week. We got four full sets of golf clubs. Here's one, two, I got one back here. Full sets, and what's neat, when you go to Savers, Savers keeps their clubs together. So for example, they don't just try to sell each club, and you gotta find them like a Goodwill. Goodwill, you gotta find each club, and then they have a tag on each club, and you gotta try to find them, hopefully you can find them where when you go to Savers, they put the clubs together. Now, these clubs had a blue tag on them, and I was in Savers on, I think, Saturday. And I could see that these clubs were uh, had the blue tag, and that Tuesday was gonna be $2 day. They have $2 day. And they had four or five sets of blues. And lo and behold, got them, each for two bucks. In addition to uh, these, one's an Arnie Palmer, uh, one's a Nancy Lopez, and then um, a couple of them are, one's a knockoff of Ping. But in addition, at the same time, and again, here's the blue tag, here's some Olimar fairway woods. Now, Olimar is renowned for their fairway woods. And this is a uh, 12, 16, and 18 degree, and these are fantastic. Um, men's clubs. Got them for two dollars. I would really wanted these. I mean, I don't think I'll use them because I've got some other hybrids and everything. But these will easily sell for sixty dollars for the three of them. I just sold a set of some clubs for sixty dollars. I shipped them out to Tucson this week. And so, whenever you get that kind of stuff, it really goes. Here's another one. Here's a blue tag. Same store. Brand new with the cover on it. Everything. Uh, bullseye putter, never been used. Uh, 
and I don't know where it came from, uh, but so bought this for two dollars. They had thirty-four ninety-five on it. That's what they wanted to get. So we got it for a buck for two dollars. Another neat thing I got here I wanted to show you is this is an old wood putter. This putter is probably 50 years old. And uh, let's see what's it called. It's called, it was made in some place in the USA. Very old. It's a laminated uh, putter. This thing uh, is will be a collector's item. Somebody will love to have this on their wall or put it in one of their boxes where they have their hickory uh, clubs or vintage clubs. Another thing that's really going well, and as you know, I'm into golf clubs, are specialty clubs. And these are the wedges. And this is a 52 degree wedge. Now, uh, believe it or not, I don't have a three iron, I don't have a four iron, I don't even have a five iron in my bag anymore. I got a couple hybrids, but I've got about four wedges. So I've got a 60 degree, a 50 degree, a 54 degree, and a 52 and a 56 degree wedge. So you sh people are buying wedges now to get around the green. You know, you're 100 yards out. Us old guys, you know, we don't hit the green uh, all the time because we're a little far back on the tee box uh, now. And then, of course, you still got a 180, 200 yards back into the green. Well, then you're still a ways away from the green. So you got to have the wedges, the specialty wedges, to get close to the the pin so you can, you know, get your putt in for a birdie or for a par. So that's the way that kind of works. So the specialty clubs are hot right now. Also, I bought this training club. It's a small club so you can swing it in the house. It's not as, you know, and it's got a weight on it. It's got the right grip. You know, most people have the wrong grip for when they uh, grip. You got a grip so the V's on your hands are pointing to your right shoulder. Again, uh, you can look at some of the videos that I put on on John Dahl's site, on my site, on Mark Mulligan's website, and you'll see that that's the right grip. Well, then you swing this and get some strength going in your wrists and stuff. So it's important to do that. Um, let's see, I have a, another thing that you might want to be interested in buying are clubs that are maybe they're one-offs but they're newer clubs and this happens to be a Callaway and um, this club I got for two dollars they wanted eight got it for two you put it on as single clubs and these are clubs then that people have lost they may have lost a club and so people want to buy just one club so you sell them all day long for 25 to 35 dollars it's brand new they're 160 dollars so just for one club so they, if they want to get the club, and you can't, can't imagine how bad a person feels when you've lost a club and you don't have that club, because I've lost some clubs and I rebought them and now I buy them on eBay and you can find the club that you lost on eBay and you can bid on it and sometimes get it pretty cheap. Uh, let's see, another thing we got, here's a neat little pillow. This pillow, golfers always like to play around. So just kind of a cute little thing to give to somebody. Uh, they put it on their um, you know, couch, and kind of just as a little joke thing. You know, we got a couple um, shirts in. This is an Izod shirt. And I mentioned I buy mostly larger shirts. The, you buy 2X, 3X, 4X, because people sometimes that are bigger don't want to or have a hard time finding their size or they don't want to shop out. In public so you put that on eBay and they sell all day long for the you know if you get the bigger sizes this is an express shirt um, Erica told me that that's a hot shirt for the younger generation and so uh, we got those oh, those are kind of nice got a couple of them uh, we also got a screen two bucks at an estate sale I use this screen to shoot my um, uh, products behind because you want a white background that looks better you don't wash out the colors you know and different things so if you use a wall a beige wall or something you put your shirts 
you a lot of times uh, wash out the colors and you, people don't really get the true impact of that. Another thing we got, which is kind of neat, and I might keep this, I gotta fix this. This is a Bud Chap uh, print. It's got a cracked glass, but I gotta get that replaced. And it's a Lee Trevino, and it's called the Horseshoe. And Lee Trevino was infamous for um, being able to cut, you know, do a big slice around things and stuff because he knew how to hit that cut. And so they have, he had a hole specifically and that Lee Trevino's in there hitting the shot around a complete horseshoe. <laughs> and it's a beautiful print. I'll uh, get that jazzed up. Got it for a couple bucks at a thrift store. Already in the frame, you know. It's kind of funny, it's $100 for these frames, to have them framed or more and matted. I mean, I used to buy and have things printed. And, uh, I mean, I bought that I had framed and they'd have to mat them and match them up and it was $100, $150. That was 20 years ago. So oftentimes, when you buy these prints, the frames are worth a lot. People will buy them just for the frames. So I think that's kind of it. Look, we had a great week. Uh, I just wanted to mention that uh, eBay and Amazon and Etsy and all these different platforms, you want to make sure that you put your products on various platforms um, so you not don't have all your eggs in one basket. Uh, we're starting to find out that eBay sometimes is not allowing the search engines to get to everyone's products. So for example, if you're small like us, uh, they may not release your products to certain search engines uh, maybe once a month or twice a month. And so there's a lot of controversy right now about eBay, whether or not they're playing the game fair for everybody. Uh, you know, people don't realize it, but Best Buy and uh, even the Goodwills have their own eBay sites. So they bring in stuff, if they, they take the good stuff and put it on eBay and see if it'll sell. And so sometimes people, there's a sense that eBay is showing preferential treatment to those people. So I have five, six different sites. I have, of course, my own website with an e-commerce on it, Mark Mulligan. Then I have um, Etsy I use, I use Amazon, Craigslist, eBay, and um, there's one now we're going to be looking at. It's called Spotify, and um, there's a couple more coming out which will give eBay some competition, which is good, because there's a need for that. So again, if you have any questions on doing the reselling business, I'm happy to share with you uh, and tell you how it works for us. Um, I think we sold maybe 10 items this week. And you know, when you're making you know, anywhere from between $25 and $50 an item, that stuff starts adding up, and you can turn it into a real business if you want. Uh, but you got to do it slowly and not uh, quit your job, your day job. So anyway, uh, this is Mark Mulligan signing off, and we'll um, talk to you soon.